Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. I'm just cleaning up from the previous reading. But this is going to be a channel message, okay? So, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw these things out there. Somebody could live um, in the West, okay? Somebody could also uh, be from up North. Or um, somebody could have first house, Aries in the first house. Or Aries in their Pluto. Excuse me. Uh, you don't have to. Once again, this is a reading for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mars, and Mercury. Also, another thing is that if you do want to book a personal reading, you could definitely do that. I am accepting those. Also, if you are looking for your reading, please check your emails, guys, because after seven days, the video link expires, and I, I, I delete it after seven days. So if, if you don't save it or download it to your phone, you won't be able to keep it. Okay, just go ahead and let you guys know that. Also, if you want to tip your girl if this resonates for you or you want to show some love, also check out my other two channels. That is up to you guys. So, what's going on? Forgiveness. Forgiveness is of significance here, but I don't feel like... First, we're going to start with this deck. The Divination of the Ancients. And the reason why I'm saying that... Oh, hold on. Okay. Anyways, the reason why I'm saying that is... I just got a channel message. It's kind of like, if I knew it was you, or I never knew it was you, okay? That is a channel message. And it's so funny, I pull out the deck at the bottom, we have Augur. It talks about mastery, it talks about being a master, it talks about, you know, being some type of force, being divine, all right, being spiritually gifted, all right? Some of you guys are having a high ranking, whether it's in the spiritual realm, physical realm, whatever it is, but I'm talking spiritually for a lot of you guys here. You could be like, you know, readers like me, maybe you have spiritual gifts or something of significance about you. It's kind of like, if I know it was you. Hmm. So what's going on? Let's talk about the channel message first of all. Um, so what's going on is that there is somebody that you know, okay, you've had dealings with or you gave this person a chance. You could have invited them to a party, invited them to a lifestyle, or somehow you have changed your spiritual path or you are going to. Okay. Yeah, and then I have two cards that came out. So I have shooting star. This is the confirmation. And then I have thunder and lightning. You know, Aquarius, we do control the weather. Okay, so, you know, we get really mad, really sad, really angry to a certain degree. Things do uh, transpire or happen. But what's going on right now is that psychometry talks about sensitivity or psych psychometry. Yeah, psychometry. And then it says shooting star. So there is somebody here who you're going to give them a chance, okay? Or you've given them a chance. Um, and it's so funny. You could get like a nasty taste in your mouth when you were like always around them. But somehow this person was given a chance, invited into your lifestyle, into your wondrous world. Um, I'm, there's this movie that is very significant. I can't think of it. But it was like, um, it's like a movie that came out when I was a kid. If you know, comment down below. But it's like um, Misadventures or Marvelous something. And it was like a big ass toy store. And the toys were alive. It was like a lot of like magic and shit going on. Mr. Something Emporium. Somebody's Emporium. That's that's what I, what I know it is. Somebody's Emporium. But anyways, let's talk about it. So channel message here. Like I said, feel the dreams. Um, you could have definitely invited somebody here or showed them that they could have, I'm hearing, we on your wildest dreams. Also, James and the Giant Peach is significance, okay? Or um, Tim Burton films specifically or characters. Um, but yeah, what's going on is that... <sighs> Either you're inviting this person or you're giving somebody the opportunity to uh, experience their wildest dreams or experience a manifestation or something like that. Either you're going to have the opportunity to do this or you've already done this, okay? Um, 2021 could be a significance. And I feel like rescue card, you could be helping somebody, rescuing them, or I'm hearing changing their life up or changing something up. Also, I'm hearing this song, Kissing on My Tattoos by... um. August Alcina, for what reason, I'm not sure. That could be a significance. You could have recently heard the August Alcina song. Um, but yeah, I have Peaks of Joy, this card. Okay. And then I have Wide Open. I have the numbers 21, 16, 33, and 42. They could be a significance here. But what I'm really picking up here, the channel message, somehow, if somebody knew it was you, it's kind of like an like that. So it's air forgiveness. So I feel like your spiritual team is kind of like, um, forgive them for they not know what they do right and hold on y'all and you may be trying to figure out like who what when where and why but somebody literally thinks oh shit yeah hold on yeah nine of swords came out
Yeah. It's like you gave somebody a chance of a lifetime or something like that. Or you're going to be able to do this and they're going to be able to create their wildest dreams or see everything actualized or materialized in their hands or in their face. Or you're going to help them do this or show them the ropes or something like that. But I feel like with the Nine of Swords energy, with the Sun card, yeah, show them um, anything that makes them happy or whatever happiness or uh, what makes them content or elated or makes them feel real or important or, you know, whatever it is you're going to grant this wish or you're going to show this person how they can give, they can achieve it or whatever's going on are you were supposed to okay yeah but i feel like what's going on is that you could be really sensitive to energy okay and you know when somebody's bullshitting you or you know what's some bullshit confirmation i feel like power card hmm. you're supposed to be sensitive to this person okay or you need to be here yeah, hermit card i feel like somebody could have been going through hermit mode here or not a three pinnacles collaborating with a lot of people or somehow they're like a a bystander that you're giving imagine somebody driving home and see somebody riding a bike and it's getting late and you're like hey um did you want to get a ride and this could be like somebody here who you know them or something like that i don't know why that's significant but spirit gave me that direct situation but it's kind of just like you're you're the great Gatsby, okay? Or like you're the you're the mastermind behind all of this. Like imagine getting invited to a party and you're you're like, I don't know, um, this person invited us or you know, this is going on, that's going on, and you know, I got an invitation, a real one, I promise you I'm supposed to be here, like or behind enemy lines or something like that, but I haven't met the person who the party is for or about or whatever it is but it's like you're looking at them you're talking to them you're the person somebody's talking to if that makes sense like you're looking at them like yeah like somebody's invited into like like they're given a chance or invited into your environment your spiritual realm or you know ace of swords yeah something like that here yeah tower card two of swords and star card seven of swords king of swords yeah it's like somebody's invited into your emporium or you know your um bridge to terabithia or your narnia it's giving like that type of energy your portal your ultimate parallel timeline or something like that or something that's going on here i feel like either you're going to give out this invitation or this a chance or you already have but what's going on is that um it was supposed to be like a hidden chance or somehow it wasn't supposed to be tied to you. I feel like you, there was a contract here. Your spiritual team, somebody else's spiritual team, there was a contract to kind of keep somebody in the dark about um, a new beginning or something they were having uh, that you were granting or you were the cause of or your energy created for them. Yeah, you know how you need a lot of energy to open certain portals? That is of significance, like that through the line I just said. Because, um, you know, you are the alien, you are the extraterrestrial, you know. You move at the speed of light, okay? Also, you can, you're very elusive or mysterious. Yeah. But I feel like what's going on is like when somebody fumbled you, they fumbled all their whole entire experience. All the money, power, clothes, cars, bullshit. Yeah, like, okay, this is, this is going to be a scenario that I have. This is the only I know to explain it they're giving me. Let's say somebody is a drug dealer, they're a businessman, but you never see them out on the street. Or, you know, I'm hearing like the real birth, the real bosses work behind the scenes. Your boss, Aquarius. Um, you're working behind the scenes. And what's going on is that there's some type of lots chance or something that's being granted for a person. Okay. Or that you are granting for a person. But what's going on is that whoever this person is, Ace of Swords, there's some type of sneaky uh, side deal or plan or treachery going on. Also, the movie Ocean's Eleven or Ocean's Eight or whatever Ocean's movie is of significance. But I thought the Tower card, yeah, somebody calls the Tower for themselves, Two of Swords, not even saying that with the Star card, you're the actual star here. You're the actual star here. And it's like for you to forsake a star or to make a star feel like just a, a ball of gas or um, seven of swords betray a star or a chosen one or whatever it is. And then you try to show up in Hermit Mode energy as if you're trying to collaborate, move forward, do all these things. It's like, uh-uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, I just feel like, yeah, somebody's dreams actualize, you're rescuing them or you're making them on a high horse or I'm hearing on cloud nine. Somebody could also be blowing somebody's high. Okay, whether it's um like smoking wise or just energetic high vibration. 
excuse me, but wide open. Let's let's talk about the cards for for um a quick second. I do want to read one card here. And the only card I want to read right now is a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what it says in the book. Okay. Yeah, but that is our significance. Wow. I know it took like a mouthful, a long ass time for the message to come out. But it says, an opportunity ha for you has been cast. Do you have the courage to take the chance you're being given or will you let it pass you by? Whatever happens, your life will change, but it's up to you in which way you'll go. You've been asking for this, for something different, something exciting to happen. You know you will never be contented to rest upon your laurels. If you're really want to spice your life up and you know that you do then it's time for adventure life happens for those who take a chance but nothing happens for those who don't take risk lots cards has go for it okay the more you experience the stronger more confident you will become take up an opportunity that allows you to work towards reaching your full potential so yeah don't be afraid to build on solid foundations when the chance arises to do so be it a financial opportunity or somebody's change of heart okay so that's what it is that's what i was trying to say somebody here you're you're casting an opportunity for them or you have or they were supposed to be a part for some of you guys it's gonna be like a casting for a show or a network or something regarding the public eye as well but i feel like you know you giving this person the opportunity or you know uh you will give this person the opportunity i just feel like somebody's going to spit in your face i'm hearing spit on your grave that movie could be a significance okay i don't know what it's about i would love if somebody would comment the biopic okay or like a quick little summary that'll be cool um, if not, I'm going to look it up when I'm done. But, um, yeah, clearing house. I'm hearing something is being cleared or washed out or something of that nature. Yeah, I feel like somebody had an opportunity to build with you. Like, you're the great motherfucking Gatsby. Somebody had an opportunity to build with you, but somehow you could have caught them spewing rumors about you or saying something distasteful. Or with the Justice card, Nine of Pentacles, you could have caught this person by themselves trying to, um, I'm hearing go on and big up yourself or trying to big up themselves. You yeah, have five of cups. I feel like you're not taking any losses regarding this person or situation, but I feel like somebody is going to be taking a loss due to the fact that, hold on, it's like my whole deck is like split upside down, y'all, hold on, hold the fuck up, hold the fuck up, is there only that, no, it's this side too, okay, that, that's crazy, let me see. Yeah, but anyways, like I was saying, that's what's going on. I feel like you're going to help somebody cast an opportunity or, or make give somebody a chance for something like that. Okay, to fight with their life. To come to their full potential. To be on the winning team. To be on the winning side. And they're going to shit on you or spit in your face. Yeah, nine of cups. Because I feel like whatever you're offering is a wish fulfillment here. You're offering to um, fulfill their wishes. If you've ever seen Spongebob. And I think it's like either Squilliam or somebody who's telling Squidward that he can have money, power, and fame, and all this other shit. And he's in the shower, and it's like raining coins or pennies and dollars and stuff. And he's like, really? 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 Okay? You could be like, like that's you when somebody's like looking up at you like that. If this is happening now or already happened, okay, or it's going to happen, past, present, future, these are timeless. Yeah, Hierophant card, the seven of wands, I feel like you should cross the T's and dot your I's. Or I feel like, you know, this person is up for a challenge here. They have accepted the bait. Not the bait, like, in a bad way, but it's kind of like they have accepted the challenge, the journey, the opportunity. Took the pentacles to work with you, to build with you, etc. Yeah, but Knight of Cups of Verse, I feel like somehow they accepted it, but I feel like the Knight of Cups of Verse, yeah, Ooh, the ten of why is my cards in reverse like this? So we got the nine of wands and the ten of swords. You're gonna be some type of barrier, standoffish energy, or two of cups. Um, something is only about money, fame, notoriety, or something of that nature. Somebody only wants what they want, and there's no loyalty to you or you putting them on or something like that. I don't know. This is energy that I'm getting here, but I feel like what's going on. Somebody's gonna create a tower moment for themselves, and everything's going to call, fall apart. Everything they worked hard for. Magician card reverse. I feel like you know the, the somehow the deal is like declined or something like that or some the time has ran out it's kind of like giving me the energy like let's say that um you have a partnership with somebody right and it's kind of like if this happens or this isn't honored or something like that the whole deal falls apart or if you betray the person or you bite the hand that feeds you the whole deal falls apart yeah six of swords three of pentacles i feel like what's going on cherry card yeah this this whoever this person is six of swords yeah, the three of pentacles and the chariot card. I feel like you could be accelerating, moving forward, or three of pentacles. You may have to leave this person in the dust. 
yeah spark card i feel like you know there was a spark you seen something in them all right and i feel like you were already flying up high but now this person's making mountains out of molehills or i'm getting unexpected visitor this person gonna be popping up on you really soon but i feel like metamorphosis this person not willing to change or they wanted something spicy but they it was too spicy for them yes that embrace yeah i feel like somebody betrayed you Let's see, how did they betray you? Like, I, like, I don't know, I feel like there was some type of business deal or something here that you could have gave somebody, but it's kind of like they fumbled the deal. Like I said, this this scenario I'm giving you guys is very specific. Like, let's say you're a drug dealer, right, and you're like the kingpin, and you're giving somebody opportunity to um, join forces with you, get the benefits, get the money, or, you know, it's kind of like you're inviting them and they don't know that you're the kingpin. They think that you're one of the runners or, you know, the foot soldiers or, or you're you're one of the people in charge but not in total charge or something like that. Yeah, use your mind. Or this person, yeah, use your mind. That That's what you need to be doing, using your mind right now. Yes, yeah, there's improvement needs to be made. So I feel like this, this the reason why this whole deal fell apart because somebody betrayed you or they're going to betray you. This is strongly I'm picking up like business. It could be in any possible way, but I'm getting business vibes. Yeah, approved by the community. I feel like you're approved by the community. You may have a couple of improvements you're trying to make, okay, and um, or things you got to get going. It says, don't know what I want, but this person here, they don't know what they want. This is why they're going to betray you. They don't know what they want. They don't know if they should take your offer and work for you or work for somebody else. Yeah, it says treating you to lunch or dinner. This person may want to take you out to lunch or dinner. Or you may treat them to this. Okay. Or you guys may actually meet up there. Or somebody could be meeting up with a side person at a for lunch or dinner out to eat. Um, for those of you guys that is for uh romantic, okay. Um somebody's stroke game is too strong here. Or, you know, somebody is just mm, something is too much. You have kiss me better. Kiss it, kiss it better, baby. What are you willing to do? Like, you know, somebody's not willing to do what was in the contract. Yeah. Perfume. Somebody's perfume could be a significant kiss. Maybe you recently bought one or some, something like how somebody smells. Yeah. Yep. Somebody was not willing to, like, justice card, the page of swords. And the seven of pentacles. I feel like somebody's whole life is going to fall apart because somehow they bit the hand that feeds them. Or somehow the contract was null and void because they betrayed you. Yeah, page of swords, okay? You may wonder how they betrayed you, but four of wands. I feel like they broke this foundation. Or somehow they thought that they could, um, queen of wands, queen of pentacles, have a foundation with you and somebody else. For, with, with two different competitors here. Or two different lower level, um, bosses or people of significance or, um, competitors. Um, and yeah, I feel like with the Knight of Swords energy, this news came back to you quickly. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, with the Magician card, the Four of Cups, and the King of Wands, this person thought it was going to be a King of Wands. This person thought that they were going to, um, I'm hearing that song by Rihanna. We gonna run this town tonight. This person thought it was going to run some shit or, you know, with you granting their wishes here or you, you know, uh, giving them this chance and then reaping the benefits or the rewards or, you know, whatever comes with you or the situation or... The money or finances or whatever is being offered here, whatever the offer or contract was about, this person thought they were going to take that, use that, and still be able to go back and forth. Like, imagine you saying, the, like, you, you're dealing with a plug, a kingpin. Like, if you buy buying from me, you can't buy from nobody else because, you know, the quality and this and that and whatever, whatever. Somebody got a deal. Like, let's say you got 30 grams of, not 30 grams, 30 kilos of Coke, Okay. And they go to somebody, and these people only got 15 grams of coke, but it's at a discounted rate. But it's also stepped on or crushed. It's not a pure product. So somebody here, you know, they they looking for price over quality. Okay, and I feel like what's going on, somebody thinks they can have your quality, somebody else's price, and see what they got going on too, and kind of make it backfire on you. Make back a fire on you, like, you know, use bad publicity or bad benefits or something like that for you. I feel like the death card, that shit is done, that shit is ended, that shit is over with. Or somehow the contract is null and void. Yeah. That's just period. Yeah, somehow, somehow somebody's karma, their whole life is going to fall apart. Or whatever you manifested or you put in hard work or I'm hearing whatever you made happen. 
all that shit is being retold. I'm hearing reparations. Yeah, the emperor card here. Somebody could also be being stripped of their um, spiritual title, magical title. Or, you know, if you go to certain, like, places or you have certain connections or whatever the fuck it is. It could be regarding, like, work, money, side jobs, etc. Or, you know, whatever the fuck it may be. Whatever you have access to and they're using your face card to have access to, all that stuff is no longer. Like, let's say you can only get into, like, let's say you only can get, like, a secret club or, what are you doing, Domino? Secret club or something like that. But you, it's about who you know, not what you know, or VIP or something like that. All that stuff is being taken from this person or will be. Okay. It's your confirmation. Justice card. Yeah, that's what's going on here. This is how it's going to play out. This is going on now. It could have already happened. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing, why have you forsaken me? Hmm. All right, but this was the reading. I hope you guys would love it, and I would definitely see you all later.